Will drinking spearmint tea every single day clear up your skin, get rid of unwanted facial hair, solve all skin problems? According to TikTok, drinking spearmint tea daily does wonders. It gives you radiant, glowy, clear skin, the best skin of your life, and it helps get rid of unwanted facial hair. However, as we all know at this point, there is very often a huge discrepancy between TikTok and a little thing called reality. Spearmint tea is a delicious beverage consumed throughout the world. It's made of leaves from mentha spicata, a plant great for freshening up your breath. Why do people take something as simple as a delicious beverage and try and make it into this healing end all be all? Well, there are a variety of anti-inflammatory compounds to be found in spearmint tea. Carvone, rosemarinic acid, which you'll recall from my videos on rosemary oil, is a polyphenolic antioxidant. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It has antibacterial properties. It has antiviral properties. All of these things sound promising for inflammatory skin conditions, maybe for helping reduce the burden of bacteria uh, called cutibacterium acnes on the skin that contributes to, well, acne, of course. But here's where spearmint tea gets interesting and where there is some interest in further research on spearmint tea. It appears as though it has some natural anti-androgen properties. Now, a little refresher on the underlying pathophysiology of both acne as well as unwanted facial hair growth for women, otherwise known as hirsutism. This is driven by, oftentimes, abnormal androgen signaling. Maybe you have higher levels of testosterone, or maybe your skin or a particular follicle, a particular pore, is just a lot more sensitive to the natural androgen hormones that we all have. Testosterone, dihydrotestosterone. Women who struggle with a condition known as PCOS characteristically have hyperandrogenemia, high androgens, and that plays a role in their symptoms, such as acne breakouts, hirsutism, irregular menstrual cycles. Androgen hormones signal to our oil gland to make more sebum, which contributes to acne breakouts and oily skin. Androgen hormones also play a role in unwanted terminal hair growth on the face. We're not talking the little tiny peach fuzz. We are talking like facial hair that you may be attempting to get rid of. Many Many women, regardless of PCOS, will deal with some degree of unwanted facial hair. I myself, like many women, get those random rogue chin hairs. They'll pop up. They're often very coarse. You can feel them. You just want to rip them out of your face. And it's a cycle. Every other month or so, you got to get the tweezers and get rid of that little unwanted chin hair. They tend to pop up as well in women around menopause and thereafter because of changes in the hormonal profile. Um, androgens just become more of a obvious issue at the level of the follicle. And like I said, you may have a hair follicle that is more sensitive to those androgen hormones leading to the formation of well and unwanted terminal hair. What does the research say with regards to consuming spearmint tea, which may have some natural anti-androgen properties for our skin, for unwanted facial hair? Well, mic drop, there's hardly any research out there. Very little research at all. Nothing that is like hang your hat, conclusive, let's make this a solid evidence based recommendation. What studies do we have? One small study of 40 women over 30 days of consuming spearmint tea found a decrease in both free and total testosterone, as well as an increase in the hormones luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. The women in these studies consuming spearmint tea also subjectively noted a reduction in hirsutism, unwanted facial hair growth. Great. Is this study enough, however, to recommend women who deal with hirsutism to start drinking spearmint tea? No. It's just how science works. You can't just go off of one small study where there are other limitations. You need more research in order to say, yeah, spearmint tea has this effect when it comes to hirsutism. Another study looked at 21 subjects who consumed spearmint tea twice a day for just five days. At the end of the study, those consuming spearmint tea had a decrease in testosterone and again, an increase in luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, as well as an increase in estradiol. However, there was not a significant decrease in total testosterone or some something called DHEAS, another hormone. So again, these are varying results between these two small studies, but they suggest that perhaps consuming spearmint tea might have some sort of influence on the hormonal profile, on androgen hormones, which could potentially be helpful for women who have PCOS, unwanted hair growth and or acne. There are also some preclinical, meaning studies done on like animal models, namely mice or rats, looking at spearmint tea compounds for effects perhaps on the ovary 
history in a model of PCOS, as well as looking at changes in hormonal profiles. These are interesting. They provide a avenue for us to ask more questions, get some more understanding of perhaps signaling pathways. Um, but you really need to have good clinical studies on actual human patients, not just mice, in order to really understand if these things end up working out for us favorably because we're not mice, we're not rats, we're not lab animals, we're not cells in a dish. And trust me, there are so many things out there that are really, really interesting and compelling in animal models, but when you take them into clinical practice, they don't translate. They do not translate. So don't get too excited about small animal research unless you are just a science geek and like to read new papers. But I would not apply those to yourself because again, you're not a mouse, you're not a rat, you're not a cell in a dish. What about acne? There's not a clinical study that I could find out there looking at consuming spearmint tea specifically for acne. However, there is a small study looking at application of sp spearmint essential oil to the skin in combination with, this is a mouthful, um, Berberis Integrium Bungi Root Extract. The subjects either got this combination or clin topical clindamycin, a standard acne treatment. They applied this twice a day for four weeks. At the end of the four weeks, there was a statistically significant decrease in the number of acne lesions in the patients who were receiving the spearmint oil plus berberis bungi root extract. Um, however, that decrease was not statistically significant from the decrease that was also observed in the subjects who were using good old fashioned clindamycin. Interesting, more research is needed, but um, yeah, again, I would not like take this one small study and completely change the acne recommendations, the acne guidelines based on this. So I decided to consume spearmint tea daily and I did so for approximately five months. No change in the rogue chin hair for me. So um, all I can say from my personal anecdotal experience, which is never sufficient to guide clinical recommendations, okay, um, is that yeah, spearmint tea tastes amazing, but did not change the trajectory of my rogue chin hair growth journey. There are also a lot of other variables that you need to take into account. Consuming spearmint tea may potentially, if it works the way we think it works, have more of a meaningful impact for women who have PCOS. Hyperandrogenism is part of their condition. It may have more of a meaningful impact in terms of symptom relief. That hormonal component is a driving factor for their acne. While androgen hormones play a role in acne for everyone who has acne, PCOS and not PCOS, they're a major driving force for acne in women who have PCOS. And so perhaps if spearmint tea does work the way it allegedly does, again, we don't have sufficient data on this, then it might actually be more uh, impressive for someone who has PCOS versus someone who does not. That being said, drinking spearmint tea, is it bad for you? Should you avoid this? Is it dangerous? By and large, no. Spearmint tea is just a beverage, right? Like you could be drinking it and be none the wiser with regards to people claiming that it works for acne. It is considered safe to consume. It has a very favorable side effect profile. There really aren't any significant adverse effects that you might experience. I mentioned that one of the studies looked at applying spearmint oil in combination with that root extract for acne to applying it to the skin. However, as I always point out, when it comes to essential oils, they can easily cause a contact dermatitis, which can cause a lot of irritation for you and lead to hyperpigmentation. So I never recommend like going to the health food store and just picking up a bottle of essential oil and applying it to your skin. Even if you try and dilute it out in like a carrier oil, still pretty risky. Essential oils are are a lot safer, I would say, if they are formulated into a skincare product um, because they are going to be using um, presumably safer amounts, although you can still develop an allergy or irritation to them regardless. Um, so that's a big issue with applying them to the skin. I have seen people on TikTok applying these to the skin and claiming that it's been helping them cut down on hirsutism. So between the topical essential oil application or consuming the tea, I would say the tea is a lot safer. As someone who consumes 
shooting the tee daily for many months. Uh, I can say the main benefit that I observed is I found it just tasted delicious and rather enjoyed consuming it. Now, as far as people's personal experience drinking spearmint tea and noting that it seems to be helping their acne, seems to be helping their hirsutism, there's definitely a potential mechanism to explain that. So I don't wanna discredit their personal experience. I think that sounds great. Like, I think it's fine to consume spearmint tea. And if you feel as though it has helped, that is great. But coming from it from a different angle, as far as like, is a physician going to recommend this over a standard of care treatment for acne or for hirsutism? No. And one of the reasons to note is when it comes to acne, you don't wanna rely on something with such little evidence behind it and delay treatments that are established to help because delaying treatment of acne, the acne can heal with a scar, which is permanent, as well as stubborn hyperpigmentation, inflamed redness. And so delaying effective treatments puts you at risk for those things. And that's a big concern. You don't wanna delay treatments trying a more natural remedy that doesn't really have a strong track record of working. All right, guys, so that's what I wanted to say with regards to spearmint tea. It is delicious, but don't expect miracles. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.